as artificial intelligence uh, does more and more things people can do, um, will we really be able to create enough jobs for all the people in the world? Um, this is also an area where I think people have a broad misconception. Automation has always eliminated jobs, and it, it, the, the labor force, uh, the labor markets are very resilient and they evolve surprisingly quickly. Now, to the extent that automation causes certain current professions to become extinct or to be reduced in the number of people we need, that's going to affect uh, employment. And there are papers you can read, and it's always quoted in, the pa in, in articles the same way. It's like, why well, experts say that in 50 years, you know, 50% of the work that humans do will be obsolete. What are we going to do? Well, the answer is, if you go back 50 years, 50% 50 of the work that people did 50 years ago is no longer the case. 200 years ago, 90% of the U.S. population worked in agriculture. That's what work meant. You got out there and you tilled the field and picked the, picked the crops and planted. That was what work was. Now, if we suddenly took the uh, technology that we have on farms today and magically transported that back 200 years ago, it's true, instantly, 90%. People would say, we don't need to work anymore. The machines are going to do all the work. Only 2% today, 2% of our population works in agriculture, and that's under threat. It's going to go down way below that and then due to artificial intelligence in the next couple of years. But if it happens over a period of time, the labor markets adapt because our expectations about our standard of living go up. The effect of automation is to make us wealthier. And you know we don't want to live today in a shack with an outhouse. The point is our expectations rise, and that creates new employment and different, different kinds of jobs. So we are going to be way wealthier. I can even be specific. The historical pattern has been very clear. This is really weird. The US economy doubles. A house, average household wealth doubles every 40 years. And it has for the last 200 years. The average household income in 1800 in the US was $1,000, and that's inf inflation adjusted. That's in today's dollars. We were, everybody was dirt poor compared to today. Uh, today it's about 50,000. We have a problem with how that's distributed. Different issue and very, very important issue. But uh, the truth is, as we get wealthier, there's more demand for services. And there are new kinds of jobs and services that are become created as a result of the new technology. 